Kenya Day 7. Um, we're here in the guard house at the Westgate Community Conservancy right now. And I've got a little bit of time because they're going to have a meeting this morning of the Moran, which are the warriors of the Samburu people who live here in this conservancy. A lot of the people that they've hired as scouts, who are the people who go out and check on the zebra and count them and uh, basically count all the other wildlife in the area, are the warrior class in their community. Our guide, Kopo, uh, was uh, Samburu Moran. A warrior. They don't hire only warriors, but they do rely on them to get information because the warriors are out all the time. They're pastoral people and they spend most of their day out in the field. Most of their days actually they sleep out in the out in the bush. So they all of the Moran from this this Samburu community community are supposed to meet here this morning. They're supposed to meet in nine hours and a half an half an hour ago, but they're walking and some of them come from quite a long ways away, so we might be waiting for a while. Yesterday we got to go into the community of one of the Samburu guards here, actually the head of the guards, and he took us into the house and I photographed his family. They're so beautiful. The people here in Kenya are so amazingly beautiful. The life that they live is really difficult. It's a hard life, and particularly right now with the northern part of Kenya being in the middle of a three-year drought. It's extremely hard. From this place, they have to walk two kilometers just to get water. And that's actually considered not very far at all. Sam mm -hmm. has been a little bit sick the last two nights, but basically fine during the day. I think he's getting used to the water here. He's still having fun playing soccer with people. Um, Yesterday we ran into a few elephants on the way back from looking at a restored part of the community where they're trying to restore the grasslands. That was interesting.